What's up, Spice Droppers? It's Charlie from Ferndale. Okay, so when I was in Florida, I picked up this coconut butter from a little roadside fruit stand uh, made by Davidson of Dundee. I did just look them up online. You can go to davidsonofdundee.com and order this. They make everything fresh, small batch, local ingredients. Anyway, so I picked up this coconut butter thinking, you know, I could make something like a, uh, some kind of appetizer or something of dessert, something that kind of resembled the flavor of a pina colada. And today we're going to make tropical fruit bruschetta. Let's get cooking! Okay, so this recipe has three parts. We have the bread, we have the fruit, and then we're going to put a lime glaze over the top of it. So first with the bread, I got my oven preheated to 250, and we're just going to take these uh, Hawaiian rolls I got. Normally they come in packs of 12, but they didn't have those at the store last night, so just got four or three, four packs. But we're going to take a very thin slice off of the bottom, and we're going to take the top off here, and then we're going to cut right down the middle to make our crackers. So we got four right here, or now we got eight right here. We're just gonna place these here and do that with the other two. And uh, once these are ready, we're just gonna throw these in the oven for, again, at 250, about 10 minutes, flip them, probably another 10 minutes. Just wait until they, they are real dry. We're doing this at such a low temp because we don't want the bread to necessarily brown like it would if you were toasting it at, you know, 400 degrees. So we're have, we have it at the low temperature so that we can get that dehydration process going as opposed to toasting it. All right, the bread's ready to come out. I did leave it in there for an extra 10 minutes, so it had 30 minutes total. I flipped it twice. I just wanted it to get very, very crispy. And as you can see, we have achieved that. All we're going to do is uh, put this to the side and let it sit while we prep the fruit and the glaze. Okay, so the second part of this tropical fruit bruschetta is the fruit. So let's see what we got. I got a pineapple. I have a mango. If you've never had mango, mangoes are delicious. I have a couple kiwis here. I do have canned peaches. I'm using canned because the peaches in stores right now are garbage. I'm using some maraschino cherries, and I have one lime that we'll be using for the glaze. Some of these are kind of self-explanatory. I will show you how to cut the mango. Now, if you were just cutting this to snack on it, you would be cutting this a little differently, but because we're using this to kind of get a mince going, we're going to take a vegetable peeler and just get the skin off. And now that we got all the skin off, we're going to cut the cheeks off of this. Now this thing has two broader sides and then two skinny sides. So we're going to kind of cut kind of down the side of the middle to avoid the, the pit. And when you're cutting down, you'll be able to feel the pit if you are too close because you won't really be able to cut through it. And then you just back up a little bit and keep going down. Now these, this is the main flesh of these things. And again, this side... Okay, so we're going to use these two cheeks, and I'm going to even slice them down this way to make them thinner. We don't want huge pieces of the fruit on these crackers. And then, just real thin slices. Oh man, it's, I just ate a little bit of this. It's already so good. It's nice and juicy, so it is moving around on me a little bit. Okay, throw this in our fruit bowl. And we're going to cut these down and throw them in there as well. Now as far as the other fruit, mix that up. We can start to build everything and talk about that glaze. Okay, the fruit is chopped. In here I have that one mango. I did a quarter of the pineapple. The peaches were canned, but I'm guessing I did about two peaches. Two kiwis and about a dozen maraschino cherries. Now I do know that I probably made too much, but that's perfect because this is gonna be an amazing fruit salad too. Uh, so I'm gonna pour this into a colander strainer you can use. And just get some of that juice out because I don't want that to make the bread soggy. So while this is straining out, we can get to making that super simple lime glaze. For this super simple lime glaze, I have one cup of confectioner sugar, powdered sugar. I have two teaspoons of milk. And I have the juice of one lime. Comes out to about a little more than two tablespoons of lime juice. 
strained because you don't want to get the pulp in there. And then you're going to save the rind too because we're going to make a zest out of that. If you don't want to use milk, you can use juice of two limes in this. And you want to be very careful when you're adding all these because it can get to be too liquidy very quickly. But we're going to throw in about half of this lime juice, a little more than half. And then we're going to throw in these two tablespoons of milk and just whisk this. And it does take a minute, but you will see that glaze start to form. And then if you need to add more liquid, you can. That's why I saved a little of this lime juice so I can add it later. Uh, or we could add more milk as well. But I'm going to add the rest of this lime juice too. Because I'm going to pipe this out onto the bruschetta. So I just want to make sure that it is. Oh yes, yeah, that's perfect. Now, you could use a piping bag. I don't have one. So I'm just going to grab a handy dandy sandwich bag. We're going to pour this in there. And now when we're ready, we can just snip this little corner and use that just like a piping bag. We've done the bread, we've done the fruit, and we've done the glaze. So let's build this and try it. Okay, so we got these wonderfully toasted Hawaiian rolls. Now I'm going to take this coconut butter and start spreading it on there. And this stuff's a lot thicker than I expected, so I'm glad I really toasted these. Because this is thick and gooey and... Smells amazing. Now while I'm doing this, if you don't have coconut butter, like I said, you can go online and order this. But you could also use really any kind of jam or jelly or fruit butter, maybe like a mango chutney. If you're not using the coconut, because I think the coconut flavor on this is going to be great, I would uh, probably throw some coconut flakes on, into the fruit mixture if you don't have the coconut butter. But you could really do this with any kind of fruit flavor. You could do strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, you know, basically a fruit salad on toast. Okay, the coconut butter is on. You can see here I did accidentally break one while I was buttering it up. But that's okay because we're going to break all these apart anyway. And because they're rolls, they're already perforated for us. So this is a super easy step. Just kind of bend them and they break where they're going to break. Alright, now we can grab that fruit mixture and uh, start putting some of that on top of each of these. And again, with the fruit, if there's any of these you don't like, you can use whatever you want. Now we're going to do the glaze. I'm t I got it in this sandwich bag. I'm just going to smush it out of this corner. So we got the little cut right there. And then we're just going to pipe this out. And last but not least, we're going to just do a little lime zest on the top of here. This is totally optional. We already have the lime flavor in the uh, glaze. But I just thought it would add a little color too. Alright, I'm not going to lie, that looks... Better than I was even thinking. I think this is going to be really good, so let's give this a try. I've been tasting, not wasting, like every step of this process, and I really think this is going to be so good, so refreshing. I'm really excited to try it. Let's get at it. different too. I wanted something different. I know there's barbecues and stuff coming up and I guarantee if you bring this, they will not be talking about your neighbor's potato salad. They will be talking about this. So spice droppers. Oh! Mmm. How I love you. It's almost summer. Let's get it baby. <laughs> 